Hey everybody. So, today on our um, channel, we've put a lot of videos up, but there's another video that I wanted to create for you guys. Um, so over the course of the last few months, mm, probably around October or so, I started watching YouTube series that I saw. <laughs> the dog just ran upstairs, sorry. <laughs> um, so anyways, I was on YouTube, I was, you know, watching some reviews about hair and then some other makeup, makeup tutorial videos. And I came across, um, a Shane Dawson video where him and Jeffree Star, um, were talking about the beauty world. And then they did this whole series where they talked about, um, you know, this is my life, now let's dig into your life and that kind of thing. And and then all of a sudden it came on, hey, let's let's do a series about making a um, eyeshadow palette. Uh, let's just do a series about that whole, you know, makeup and that launch and how we do that. So I started watching that series um, at that point in time. And then every week when the videos would upload, I was just like... Yes, I need to see the next one. And we watched the videos and watched these um, two people make these palettes and this other merchandise and this um, other makeup that they made and the mirrors and the, you know, everything. Um, and so many people coming together in this and just being excited about it. So I decided when they launched it November the 1st, um, that I would just try to see what I could get my hands on. But did I really want to spend the amount of money to buy both of the palettes? I had to think about it. I actually was able to get one of the um, controversy palettes. Not controversy, my bad. This is many controversy. Um, the conspiracy palettes in my cart. And then I had to think about whether I wanted to purchase it or not because of the price. Um, the sets were sold out uh, at that point and I was just like okay well I have a chance to get one of the conspiracy palettes um, but I don't know if I want to spend that so I put it in there I came back and looked at it a little bit later and it was sold out however because of the delays and the glitches and the things that happened at the launch they didn't get a lot of their items on the site in time before the site started to crash um, so the mini controversy palette actually wasn't uploaded to the site until later and because it was uploaded later I did actually get my hands on one so I purchased this every time I have tried to purchase the conspiracy palette it has been sold out immediately so I have not been able to purchase one yet I will eventually maybe next year or, I mean, this year now, we're in 2020, <laughs> be able to purchase one. Um, so, overall, those few months, a lot of people have been talking about it. There's been so much hype about it, and then it started to die down. Um, so, I now would like to show you my reviews on this. Um, so, this is the box that it comes in. When this box comes, it has a little bit of this static to it. It's supposed to be you know this like TV static um, box uh, it says Jeffree Star Cosmetics X Shane Dawson and they both have their logos up here which by the way Shane Dawson I think that's an amazing logo that you have that's pretty cool um, and I like the little static design of course on the back it has the you know what's in it um, all of those things there but this you guys look at this I love the different colors on this I like how when you move it you know it just has that rainbow effect of color um, and then they use that different static pattern on this box um, it has a little bit of raised lettering here which I actually really like I think it feels nice the weight of the palette feels really nice um, and then when you open it, it's kind of a magnetic clasp. But when you open it, don't mind all of the uh, dust on here. I've used it a lot already. 
So we have these colors here. This is the palette. I'm sure everyone has seen it. Um, this is a good range of color to use just on your everyday stuff. So I personally have used all of the colors. Um, when using the Controversy and My Apology, um, those work well together to, you know, create just a, um, you know, a purplish, reddish color, just something that's a little dark, a little heavy, has some color to it. Um, but then also the Cancel, the Simulation, those colors are really nice. And then this Flat Earth is actually like a really light um, blue color, but very light. It's like a grayish blue. Um, then they have Exposed, um, that one down here, this pink. That one's also good for like just your everyday like cheeks and other things like that. Of course, the Diet Root Beer. The Diet Root Beer is in the um, other palette as well. Um, so anyways, I really like some of these colors, how they have the shimmer in them. And then you have your other ones here as well. I really like that. The Cry on My Couch is a good color just for overall my skin tone and stuff. And then if I ever do something just a little too heavy, I can always use Cry on My Couch to lighten that back up. So, one thing that I learned with these eyeshadow palettes, um, they don't play with their makeup. They want the best quality. Um, and I learned that you do not have to actually have a ton of product on your brush for it to even appear on your skin. You can really just dab it in a couple little, you know, dabs in the tray and bam, the brush is full of color and you don't need to do any more than that. So this palette's been good. I've used it for just everyday looks. Um, and as you can tell, some of the um, stamps have actually worn down a little because I've used it some. So then on Black Friday, I decided I am going to order the Blood Sugar palette that I've seen so many reviews about um, and then the Blue Blood because Blue Blood is what they were working on when they originally showed the series when it started um, and watching them you know be so proud of the success and what they've designed and all of that on that um, and seeing the colors there has made me want to look at them myself as well as many controversy or conspiracy so that for me is that um, give me just a minute here and we will go ahead and open these. Okay guys, so we're back. Um, so here, when I got this, just so you know when I've gotten all of this, it has been wrapped in paper that has their logos on it, officially theirs. Some people ordered from um, the other websites that carry their products, Jeffree Star's products, um, and they've said that some of the eyeshadow was broken or things like that, and also they showed that the bubble wrap that they use and things is not the best. Um, so I have preferred to order mine uh, through JeffreeStarCosmetics.com, and by doing so, my stuff comes in a pink box with the tape that has the logo on it, and then when you get these out of the box it has the tissue paper with the logo like this one was in pink tissue paper this one was in blue tissue paper um, so I ordered the blood sugar during Black Friday um, and I ordered blue blood as well so I'm gonna unbox these kinda show you how they are um, this outer shell here it says blood sugar it has the logo on the top I think that it's a very nice little packaging design um, almost like a VHS tape it kind of feels like um, and you slide it out of the package and here you have this uh, faux leather design of um, blood sugar on the top with the little logo here you've got the dual um, latches that flip up uh, really nice and then on the bottom here um, so I have learned that these 
cannot be called eyeshadow palettes if they have any pressed pigments in them. So they call them um, eyeshadow slash pressed pigment palette. On the back here it says pressed pigment palette. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but the pressed pigments cannot be considered eyeshadow. But let me just tell you, as an eyeshadow palette, um, it's versatile. It can be used on other parts of your skin. So if you need that highlighter, you got a highlighter. If you need a contour, you've got a contour. Uh, if you need eyeshadow, if you need blush, it does all of that. And then I saw somebody take a brush, had dipped it in their, um, their lip stuff that they were using, the liquid, and then they dipped it into their eyeshadow to give it that um, effect of the shimmer that they wanted and they put that on their lips too so apparently if you really want to try that go for it um so this is the blood sugar palette this is what it looks like so we've got this mirror this tray actually leans all the way back um i can fold it back i can put my brushes in here uh, as i'm working it's got the mirror and yes i believe this mirror still has the film on it i have not removed it um and then it has parts from the pigment where it's just been pressed up against there um so let me show you a little bit about this uh i did use some of this recently um but we have glucose it is a like a cream color that's very good for you know in the corner of your eyes or any of that kind of thing um, the sugar cane and the cake mix the ouch um, and then tongue pop are all very good just um, skin tone colors um, cake mix is a little bit more on the the red looking side um, the ouch is a little darker, more of like a tan uh, color when you put it on. And then the um, tongue pop is very um, like rose pigmented. Um, but overall, I really like the color. Um, then you've got your ones like the sweetener, which is like a peach with a shimmer. And I absolutely love that peach shimmer look um, on top of whatever you got going on here that you want to use. Um, and then the donor color, that is just some gold sparkle. I absolutely love it. Um, I got my brush full and then after I had put all my other colors on, I put that donor color right on the top of the lid. Um, and it looked, it looked really nice. Um, Intravenous is the color over here. It's just more of a dark color. Um, then you've got Candy Floss. Now Candy Floss is like a light pink um, shimmer. And I really enjoy this color as well. And this is a really good highlighter color also. Um, because it's just a very light faint color. But it has that shimmer to it. Um, so we've got O Positive over here. It's just a neutral shade. Root Canal is super super um pigmented i really like that color a lot as well as cavity here so cavity and root canal <laughs> yes those two colors look beautiful together but i will tell you cavity is very pigmented i used it just like right above the eye to accentuate what was going on above um and man that just stood out so much um Prick is very, very bright as well. It's a it's a good bright color to bring out um, whatever you've got going on up there as well. Um, cherry soda is a good color. It's just red, but if you use very, you know, a light amount um, and blend it out with everything else you got going on, it goes with pretty much anything in this palette here. Um, fresh meat is good. It's also a darker color, but this blood sugar, that blood sugar color is very beautiful. Um, it's almost like a Christmas red. It has a shimmer to it, um, but also it's just really good for blending out. You can put some on, blend it out with everything you got, add that gold to the top, the donor. Um, there's extraction here that's dark, and then the coma, it's also really dark. I, both of those 
I have not been brave enough yet to use. Um, at some point, I think maybe I'll try to do a little trio with these colors here um, and add a few light colors to it and see how that goes. Overall, though, I really enjoy these colors in the Blood Sugar palette. I can't wait to see what more looks I can create with these. I've only used it twice, so... Um, Hey 2020, we're coming with some new eyeshadow colors. Alright All right, guys, so you've already saw our blood sugar and the mini controversy um, palettes. But now I want to show you the blue blood by Jeffree Star. Um, so here's the thing. This is like a really nice box on the outside. Um, they kind of got this, this wood grain, you know decor that's blue and different shades of blue um, but then around the edge here you know you've got this real pretty um, squirrel work um, that's kind of a silver that you know shines and then you have raised lettering here which is real pretty so this is probably my favorite part you open this up and what do you see there is a casket in here blue blood casket so, you pull this out, and I'm just going to tip it over to get it out. I'm not trying to mess up the box any. The box itself is beautiful. And then, of course, we have the Blue Blood casket. Um, it's got all this little filigree around the edges and stuff, and I think that's really pretty. Um, but then you also have this blue metal clasp that I really like. It has the little Jeffree Star logo here. Um, so, you raise that up. And then this right here is blue blood. Now because of the top on this, it doesn't go all the way back. This is how it sits. But you still can put your little brushes down in there if you want to. Um, yes, I have used this one already as well. Um, so let's go through these colors. Let's talk about them a little bit. Um, some of the things that I do like so far about this. Um, so we have colonin because you didn't know that. That is a type of diamond. Um mint tea <laughs> everyone knows about the tea um crystal flesh and then i'm cold untouchable priceless power blue blood deceased ice tray blue monday boy that blue monday is such a beautiful color um flourishing wealthy celebrity skin entitled Ocean Ice, Cremated, and Undertaker. So, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold here. Um, if you look at these, this right here, this colon, in, this color right here has a little bit of shimmer to it. That color is wonderful for the little crease inside of your eye there um, to bring out. Um, your eyes so they don't look so deep set. <coughs> We've got some green colors here. Um, you've got some of these that you can kind of combine and create your own look with. Um, I think that these colors go really well together. I think all of them really do. This um, Untouchable is kind of a peachy color. I really like that. Um, Priceless is a little bit brighter um, on the peachy orange side. I really like that one as well. Um, but this Crystal Flesh, I love the sparkle shimmer in that. Um, the Deceased also has a bit of a um, shimmer to it. Ice Tray, that color I believe would just look really pretty over top of any of the blues just to kind of give it a shimmer or even a color like Power which is a gray. Um, cremated Undertaker, those can give you your smoky eye look. Um, Entitled has a bit of shimmer and then Ocean Ice as well. This is such a beautiful color. So let's just take a look at this. I'm going to swatch some of this. Now look at this on here. Let's see if you can take a look at that. Alright, so let's swatch that onto my skin. That is what that color looks like. It's got a very, very beautiful shimmer to it. 
Um, so that color there, it's such a deep color, but at the same time, just the shimmer on it. You can use it pretty much on top of any of, you know, the other blues or anything that you want to use um, to give it that um, depth and that just overall beautiful look. I could even imagine using something like Priceless as the base part and then putting the ocean ice over top of it to give it a, um, you know, that that feel of like pearlescent where it's moving from one color to the other but you can you know you see the the flourishing but you also see that ocean ice on top of it um so i think that all of those are really pretty colors then you have you know wealthy and celebrity skin all of those are kind of like your neutrals you can use um just as your base color wealthy would be one that you can use to kind of um go over something if you think it's a little too dark and you didn't mean for it to be that way, you can use a skin tone like Wealthy to go over that. Um, the Blue Blood color is actually very beautiful. Um, I used it the other day on my eyes, barely tapped into it, and just added a little to my eyes. And it just created this lightly colored look um, that just really kind of popped in the eye. Um, so let's just kind of swatch a little of that. So there it is. Can you see that? I'm going to get it in focus here. Alright. So he's working on trying to focus that in now. Okay. Alright. So then we're going to swatch this on the skin. So that's that color. Blue Blood. Um, Ocean Ice. Both of those there look so beautiful. Um, but let's go ahead and swash this um, Blue Monday. It looks like a little rain cloud with the lightning. I don't know if you can see that um, press on there. <clears throat> the stamp. But I think that that's also a, a cool little effect on there. So let's go ahead and swirl this around a bit. We've got some there on the finger as well. And... We're going to swatch it here next to the ocean ice on this side. So it definitely has that purple feel to it, but it's still just a really deep blue. I think that, that color is so beautiful. And now you have three lives. Yep. <laughs> Ba-ding! <laughs> Jumanji, no. <laughs> no, if we wanted to do that, we would just take some of this uh, Undertaker here. <laughs> Just one <laughs> Undertaker, two <laughs> some more Undertaker, and three. Bing! <laughs> She's got three lives, y'all. Three lives. <laughs> three lives. Not just that she had six, but whatever. <laughs> these are my beautiful lives, and these are just my lives. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so this. That's a Undertaker. It's very dark, a very dark color. We do not have to, <laughs> yeah. So that's me smearing it around. <laughs> um, lightly, it would be a very good color to put, you know, on your eyes to make that smoky look. Um, and it definitely just, you know, kind of works overall. So I think it's a very pretty color. I would definitely be using it. Um, cremated to me looks like another color that would be good for smoky eyes. Um, I don't know. What color would you think we should try to swatch? Mm, that peach color up there. This one or this one? Uh, the darker one. This one? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to swatch the uh, untouchable. I'm going to use my pinky because it's the only finger I have left that doesn't have something on it. Got about a minute. Alright, so there's Untouchable. Looks like Princess Peach on my finger. In case you guys don't know who that is, play some Mario. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm swatching it right next to the blue blood here. And that's the color that you get. It's just a very light pink. It looks really nice though on the skin. It also complements that blue very much. Oh well. Let's take some of this. Whoa, Bessie. 
That's another thing too on these colors right here. You do not have to press really hard. You just press a little bit and put it in there. So we're going to put that over top of that and just see how that looks. Um, the color I used was Crystal Flesh. I put it over top of the Untouchable. Um, that's what it looks like there. That's a really pretty color. Um, so anyways, that's just some things that we have here with the uh, Blue Blood palette. Alright, so back to the thing. Um, this is what we have with the Blue Blood palette. Um, some of these that are pressed can they easily come up if you press too hard with your brush and stuff like that so some of the um, stamps that were in them are already starting to get a little messed up because I have put my fingers in there I have also put brushes in there and things but overall I really like the quality of these eyeshadow shades this mirror in here I think is very beautiful I love this um, work around it I think that's beautiful as well love how the shimmer you know is in the actual packaging as well um so overall i really like this one i think that you guys will really like it as well if you decide that this is something that you want to get um but just know that i personally just enjoy the makeup i'm learning and that's what i want to learn is how to really be good at doing some makeup looks um but i'm gonna just learn on my own time um at my own pace and I'm not trying to rush it along and I just needed some good stuff to start with so all right guys that's all I have um thank you for watching all right guys so that has all of the three that we just covered in the same thing <laughs> when I did that some of that black fell out of my fingers, fingers. <laughs> um <laughs> but overall um, Blue Blood, Blood Sugar, Mini Controversy, I am not disappointed. Um, the quality is there. It's worth it if that's what you want to, you know, spend your money on. Um, if you're not that much into makeup and stuff like that, then that's fine too. I'm, I'm not really either. I just want to try to learn. Um, so enjoy our video. Um, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, all of the above and if you have a passion for the Jeffree Star Shane series now because you've watched it as well feel free to put a comment down below let us know your thoughts on it also let's talk about that green <laughs> that they're going to be adding back into the mini controversy who else is happy that they are adding that green back in it was deserved to be in there um, if they would have been able to get the product sooner, um, I feel like maybe he could have made a little Christmas um, palette that maybe you could put in the Black Friday special or something that would have had, you know, one of his iconic red colors with a uh, very ice white color and then that beautiful green that they made. Um, that would have been something that I would have liked to have seen. Um, but they did say that they're going to 2020 bring it out. So if that's what they're doing, I am happy about it. I may just buy a whole nother palette just to have it. And just to have the um, inner box that has just the green when you um, tilt it instead of all the colors. So who knows? We'll see. Alright, thanks guys. Share, like, subscribe, all of the above.